there's somewhere to put my drink. Hi guys. Eddie, electric lady guitars. Thanks so much for looking at this and showing some interest and some love and support. I really appreciate that. Um, sorry it's been so long since my last upload, but we've had so much going on. Got new workshops that I've started, storage, shed, um, which involves a lot of landscaping of the garden. So I've got that ongoing. We've had a lot of ash die back. And because Electric Lady Guitar starts with felling the trees right through to making the instrument, um, I couldn't let this ash just go for firewood or let it rot. So it's taken me away from the guitar building a little bit. But there's lots of that going on. I've had new machinery coming in, um, playing the thicknesses and different things. And I won't be fully set up until this second storage shed is built, finished. So there's lots going on. But one thing I can really thank you guys for, um, whether it's via Instagram, YouTube, WhatsApp, personal messaging, um, and this YouTube channel, which I will develop once we get these other things done, is the love and the support. Um, and people have just been really, really encouraging about what I'm attempting to do and just try to do things a little bit different, but not so different that it uh, divorces me from uh, guitarists out there. Um, just need to close this door that's behind you. You could have done that. Anyway, okay, great to have the breeze, no good to have the banging. And it hasn't shut properly. See, you didn't do a good job, did you? All right, there we go, that's better. Okay, so what have I got to show you today? Well, before this goes out to the customer, I wanted to show you this guitar. So uh, let me show you the Driftwood Electric Lady. Okay, so what's Driftwood about this guitar? Well, the top, uh, which I'm fairly confident is Honduran mahogany. I'll probably stand up in court and say this but let's hope it never comes to that. Uh, drifting around the oceans, we don't know how many weeks, months, years or decades. We just don't know. But one day it washed up on a shore here at South Devon and um, it went into the garage storage situation uh, where it's been for quite some time. And uh, it was presented to me as a plank so I brought it back here into my dry room and then it twisted. So the challenge was to get a twisted plank as an applied top. So I don't want to bore you with the details, but it, the back had to be perfectly smooth. And because it's twisted, the only way I could get this smooth laterally would be to sand out all that lovely patina. Isn't that gorgeous, really? Just that's the history of it being through oil slicks and floating around the ocean and banging against rocks and waves. That's all there, that's part of the instrument before it's even began. So it's on uh, sycamore body, three piece there. You can see the, uh, the spalted sycamore. And a sycamore neck, okay, you can see the, uh, the staining in the sycamore neck. So sycamore, for those that don't know, here in the UK, the sycamore, it's basically the same as maple. Slightly softer. Put your thumbnail in it, you'll see the mark. As opposed to rock maple, you know, you need to do that with a metal nail rather than a thumbnail to get a mark. So it has the same similar sonic properties, which is why the violin makers used it for centuries for the necks of violins. So it's very good like that. But the sycamore tree, and this is me, forestry hat going on there, uh, the, the tree, the wood is pH neutral. What does that mean? Well, normally wood like oak, sweet chestnut, and to some degree ash, they've got a certain amount of acid in the wood and that acid kills off bacteria. So the bacteria, so it doesn't rot, okay? Or it rots slowly. Sycamore is pH neutral. So you get a slight crack in the bark 
from an impact with a tree um, or a branch snap off. Sycamore seldom blow over, they normally, because of squirrel damage, they snap at the top or something. But the moment that's gone, it, it's susceptible. And once that protective layer of bark is removed, infection fungus can get in. Um, and also, because it's sort of pH neutral, um, it's susceptible to mineral staining. Okay, so probably arsenic or something like that down here in South Devon, granite, mica schist, acidic soils. So, yeah. So, it, it's an interesting feature within a wood that has stability. Now, the fingerboard, atypically, unusually, is ash. Okay, I don't know if you can see the decorative grain on that ash, which is why I couldn't really not use it. So people out there are now screaming at their devices, saying, don't use ash for fingerboards. Why? Because ash is nature's spring. Any device years ago, like wheel spokes and wheel rims, um, even the cradles that stop church bells slapping into it was made of ash, the cradle. Uh, that part of it anyway, because it, it's nature's spring, hammer handles, because it bounces. So it's susceptible to movement. So why would I use that as a fretboard? Well, it has a certain amount of stability to it, and to increase that, whenever I do use ash, which is atypical, as I said, I put carbon strips in the neck, okay? And that neck will then go on to have a truss rod in addition to those carbon strips. So we have stability there, okay? And I have a plethora of ash because of ash dieback and falling ash over the years. Uh, these bits of wood go back, I don't know, a good 12, 14, 15 years that I felled the trees. Um, so I do make sure they're all dry. Okay, so that's the wood. Components, goto tuners, and the electrics are really all, oh, it's a Wilkinson bridge, sorry, brass saddles, but the electrics are all bare knuckle. Thanks, Tim, Ben and the crew, and uh, really appreciate that. So they're the flat 50s, okay, and lovely, lovely tones and sounds, as always. I, I, I've never heard a bad bare knuckle pickup yet and then there are lots of manufacturers out there making good quality pickups some of them in sheds some of them in factories i'm just speaking as a find and in addition to that uh, tim's always been good to me um which i'll tell you a bit more about another time um quality service it's good so what i like about this situation is that this guitar is going through the Marshall with the gain up quite high, going through a dirty channel on my pedal board. Okay, so I'm just bringing the volume up just a tad. <laughs> rhythm sound with it and, and that's just for the volume up just a touch and of course without touching anything else you can just build on that until you get to
just touching one knob and I love that. Um, I retired from entertaining in 2013 but as a, as a guitarist you've got to try and sound like a lot of different people when you're in a covers band or even as a, a point of reference you know for people to relate to you know that but being tied to your pedal board whilst you're trying to do backing vocals and things like that, to be able to do a whole host of things just on the guitar is what I'm trying to say is what a wonderful wonderful situation that is and um, I just love the fact you can do that I know guitarists like Steve Morse who I absolutely adore um, he's playing uh, never met him yet but he also does that with his Damasio setup and um, he's got a clean amp and a dirty amp um, he's got quite a lot of pedals that he's tied to as well but to be able to roll off and get clean and roll up and get dirty for the attack I, I can't ask any more really and I know that the customer will be really chuffed with that so that's that okay brilliant stuff so uh, you've got the full tonal range that you'd expect with the, with the two pickups there just the standard wiring on this three position wiring nothing overly clever okay um, just along with the uh, beach theme by the way I don't know if I picked out but they've got abalone dots and the abalone in the control knobs and the same for the, uh, the side markers there just to, that theme of rock sand and water really um, which is good so that's that um, I just wanted you guys to see this before this guitar goes out too well if you look on my channel you'll see I did a music video and in there I had a couple acting the main parts which was Alex and Lily now not only did they act in the video for nothing just for a sandwich and a pint um, and they were happy to do that but not only that which I want to show my gratitude for but shortly after filming that video Alex was motivated to propose to Lily and they've been together for a while but um, she said yes by the way okay so if by the time this is uploaded if they're not married um, they soon will be so I kind of thought wouldn't it be nice um, maybe a bit nicer for Alex <laughs> being the musician um, as a thank you and a bit of a wedding gift that they could have this driftwood guitar okay I actually made it with Alex in mind to see him playing and singing on the beach um, with a guitar in hand with shorts and bare feet on the sand is just that's an image that sticks with me so it was just natural that this would be for him so conceptually and practically Alex this guitar is for you but I want it as a way to say thank you for Lily as well um, so you've obviously got to entertain her with it we'll teach her to play guitar your choice so that's that so I'm sure you'll join me in wishing them a happy future together and may it be a musical one okay thank you once again for watching your patience your tolerance your time um, but mostly the warmth love and support that's coming our way um, just lots and lots of exciting things happening I wasn't going to do this but I'll show you just Oh, about that. I think my amp needs a service. Okay, let's have a look. Last time I did this, I turned the camera off, so I had to film the whole thing again. So, we got all these lined up to be finished. Okay. Um, and we got these babies in the pipeline. Okay. Things well and truly on the go. That's a nice bit of uh, walnut. It's going to go on a calf top. So uh, that's ash. 
that's a three piece ash that will be hollowed out that's a uh, one piece ash that piece there's one piece of ash as well most of my ash are one piece because they come from huge slabs okay um yeah so we got a lot going on <laughs> there we go <laughs> what was i doing big mistake i think you know what you're doing anyway can i thank you once again for your love and your support your kindness an encouragement and say thank you from Electric Lady Guitars. <laughs>